Hey, it's Dr. Karn. I know that so many people don't know how to raise their vibration. What really is a vibration anyway? I'm gonna give you some simple techniques of how to raise your vibration, get your juju up so you can live the life of your dreams. So this topic is super important to me because it's actually what was the game changer when I woke up. I thought that everything else had control of my life. I thought that my ex and my mom and that teacher that I didn't like that maybe made me feel bad about myself actually made me feel a certain way. But when I realized that we actually have vibrational auras around us, that we actually have control of, that I can have control of and you can have control of, it was a game changer for me. Because I realized that I was actually responsible for how I felt on a daily basis, what actions I took and what I was emanating in it to every room that I walked into. And that is a really powerful thing to know. So if you wonder, what is vibration? How are we vibrating? I don't see myself vibrating. Well, science proves, if you remember science class back in about 10th grade, everything is vibrational. Your body, every cell in your body is emitting a vibration at all times, which creates a biomagnetic field around you, which is at about three meters at all times. It's about this big and it can expand and contract based on your emotions. So the great news is you are in control of what this aura looks like and feels like to other people, to opportunities that are trying to come your way because your aura is also a magnetic field. And the way that you manage your magnetic field is by managing what situations you're in, what people you're allowing into your life. And the simple process is so easy. All you have to remember is go towards what feels good. That simple, right? Go away from what feels bad. Because when you're in a situation that feels really good to you, around that person that you love, you're, maybe you love to paint or you love to play guitar or you love being in the ocean, what happens when you're in those experiences? You are expanding. When you're doing a job that you love, many of you are in jobs that you don't enjoy and every time you walk into the office or sit down at your computer, you have that uh, feeling in your gut. And you know what that is? That's that contraction. Or maybe you're in a relationship that every time that person walks in the room, you're like, because you've fallen out of alignment with each other and that makes you feel contracted. So all of these things in your life, your body is giving you signals that are then emanating out of your magnetic field about how you want to receive and move in the earth. So the more that you can put yourself in situations, choose to leave the ones that aren't a good fit for you, put yourself in situations that are a good fit for you, that feel expansive and that feel good for you, the more your magnetic field is gonna be attracting more of that into your life, thus the happier you're gonna be in your life. Pretty easy, huh? So what determines your aura specifically are your emotions, how you're feeling, right? So there is a chart of consciousness. This is scientifically proven through biofeedback. They've studied human emotion and human magnetic fields. And when we are at emotions that feel really good to us and the top emotions are joy, peace, love, and at the very top is enlightenment. You're actually vibrating at a number. And that expanded number gets up between 300, 400, 500, 600, and it makes your field super big and super delicious to anyone that comes near you. Now, when you drop down into lower consciousness emotions, and that is anger, fear, and we're feeling a lot of that right now, um, shame and guilt are at the very bottom of the um, emotional scale. And that emotional scale looks like an inverted triangle. Guilt and shame are down at the bottom, and those are vibrating at the number of 20 and 30. So you compare feeling guilty or shameful in your life about anything in any moment, and you've contracted your field to vibrational essence of 20 or 30 versus coming up to self-acceptance, which is about a 300. And then when you get into love and peace and joy, you're vibrating up into a 400 and a 500. And that sends an expansive message to the universe that you want more experiences that match you and that align with you. And that creates a life that is extremely fulfilling and that aligns with your spiritual path. So the important thing that I want you to remember is that you you are in charge of your vibration. No one else is in charge of it. It is actually a fact that no one can make you feel anyway. How many times do we say to our partners or our mom, you made me feel so bad. You're making me feel so guilty. Guess what? The decision to take on that emotion, that vibration is actually yours. So in that moment, when that person triggers you and you start to feel that member, the lowest emotion is actually guilt. You're not meant to reside there. Take a minute, take a deep breath. I'm about to give you a bunch of tips and tools, immediate ways that you can find a higher vibration. So you might have already had your own success with this in your life, maybe getting past some old emotions and having success getting over something in your life, raising your own vibration. I'd love to hear what that is. So drop it in the comments below give us some positive results you've had in your own life. Okay, let's get to the good part. I'm gonna give you some direct, immediate ways for you to raise the vibration 
your mom pisses you off, when your partner triggers your buttons, when your kids have you activated in a way that doesn't make you feel good, here are some immediate ways for you to raise that vibrational field. Number one, get out in nature every time. Get out in nature, go and pay attention to with all of your senses, the animals that show up, how the flowers look. Tell nature what it is about nature that you love and it feel an expansion of gratitude. So the number one way for you to lift yourself out of a negative emotion is to find something that you're grateful for. And one of the easiest ways to do it is in the neutrality of nature. So go and tell the flowers, oh my gosh, like that's my favorite shade of pink. You'll feel an immediate raise in your spiritual field. When you see a squirrel, say to him, oh my gosh, the way you chew that nut is my favorite thing. That's hilarious. Find things that are simple that you can feel grateful for in your immediate environment and that will quickly raise your vibration. Another thing that will raise your vibration is having fun, playing. I think that we don't do enough of listening to music, dancing around our kitchen, having a great time in our life because we somehow have been taught that we need to struggle pain before gain, right? You got to struggle before you can be happy. Drop what you're doing at the end of this video, <laughs> go and turn your favorite music up and I want you to dance around the room. Doesn't matter who's watching. Another way for you to immediately raise your vibration is to do some self-care, okay? So maybe if you've gone through a divorce or maybe you've been feeling lonely, a great way for you to kind of change the way that your physical feel is feeling is to get a massage go get some healing touch therapy get some Reiki therapy that is a very intentional way for you to raise the vibrational field and the health of your physical body another easy example of a way to get your vibration to tick up a notch is to use sound therapy simply saying the word um can actually bring stability and harmony to your physical body if you're nervous about walking into a room just stop and say um it's actually the frequency of the earth another way to use that kind of sound therapy is to get some sound bowls or go on youtube and find a sound bowl therapy video and listen to the sound bowls because the the tones in the sound bowls will actually activate your chakras and in doing so you will immediately raise your vibrational aura so energy's natural state is movement and you can directly move energy that is stuck in your own body by just simply moving your body. And this is you trusting you and asking your body, how do you want to move? Because let me just tell you, when energy is stuck, it feels dense, right? Like you can feel it in your chest, you can feel it in your gut, you can feel it in your shoulders. Your body needs to move, to move that energy through. Go dance, do yoga, do stretching, take a good run, do some boxing, anything at all to move that energy and your body's gonna thank you. And lastly, one of the easiest ways that you can avoid going into the negative emotion of fear or worry about the future, right? What most of us do is we go into the future and we go into the past, and that's where our negative emotions usually reside. The place where our negative emotions don't usually reside is in the present moment. If you can just drop into the now and appreciate those things around you, instead of looking ahead at worst case scenario, we're looking back at the past with guilt and shame, because remember, those are the lowest vibrational points. We wanna sit in the now, find something that you're grateful for. And the phrase that I use in my mind, because believe me, my monkey mind spins off. I regret things from a past relationship or I'm worried about something in the future not going the right way. The mantra that I use, three words. So you tell yourself as you're feeling a little jagged as you move throughout today, self, be here now and be in charge of your own vibration. So if you really resonated with everything I just talked about, about raising your vibration, and you'd like more information like that, I have a free masterclass that you can get information to by clicking the link below. So in this masterclass, I'm gonna be giving you the three keys to activating your rebel soul so you can always feel in control of your life.